Hi, it's Corey from ID Parts, and in this video, I'll be doing an oil change on this GLK 250 Bluetech. It's got the four cylinder OM 651 2.1 liter turbo diesel. This same engine's also in the ML 250 Bluetech and the GLE 300D. Same two liter OM 651, so the process for those cars will be very similar. Now, of course, I'll be using an oil change kit from ID Parts which comes with seven liters of Mercedes-Benz approved motor oil and a filter from an OE supplier such as Monfilter, who is OE on this model. The important thing for the Bluetech engines is the 229.52 approval, which you can see right there. There are other oils from other manufacturers that also carry the 229.51 or the 229.52 specification. So you don't necessarily need to use Rova, but be sure whatever you buy has that spec. That way the engine internals are protected, the DPFs are protected, everything, the emission system has the right additives in the oil and ensure the long life of your engine. First thing you need to do is pop the hood by pulling the red handle that's located on the driver's side footwell. Then open the hood by locating the small latch that's underneath the front edge of the hood, to the left side of the logo. Take the engine cover off by using a flathead screwdriver to rotate the lock 90 degrees and then pull up and then out. You see in the back, those are two pins where the engine cover lines up. So you wanna slide the engine cover off. If you pull up, it won't work. You wanna slide it forward. The reason I suggest taking the engine cover and doing the top side first is this is a engine that has a top side mount oil filter. And on top side mount oil filters, you want to do these first. That way, any oil that's suctioned in this assembly drains down into the oil pan so you can get the most possible out. On the OM651, you will need to use an 84 millimeter oil filter wrench. I have one right here. It's actually the same as the 1.9 liter turbo diesel Volkswagen. So if you have one of those in your box, it'd probably be pretty good. A rag hit ready, that way, when the oil filter comes out, it won't drip all over everything. To get to the drain plug, you'll need to take off the middle belly pan. Not the front one with the ribs, and not the rear one of the transmission, but the middle one. There's a collection of eight millimeter head screws that hold it on, that go around the whole outside of the belly pan. Go ahead and take those off. And seriously, get yourself a power drill, it's a lot faster. All right, once you get the pan off, the oil drain plug is located on the side of this aluminum housing. Well, it's a 13 millimeter head. Shouldn't be too tight if somebody paid attention when they were tightening it down. Got a drain pan here ready to go. And the trick with any oil change when you take out a drain plug is to push forward on the plug. That way it doesn't come flying out. Always try to maintain that positive pressure until you feel the thread skip. Then when it skips, you know you're at the end. Mercedes drain plugs are pretty long, so this may take a little bit longer than you're used to. There you go. When all the oils run out, you get the drain plug, be sure you use a new copper seal. On this model, the uh, drain plug washer, the seal there is replaceable. You wanna use a new one every time or else you're pretty much guaranteed to get an oil leak. Final torque on the drain plug is about 22 foot pounds. And yes, I'm using a torque wrench. It's not really necessary, but I'm making a video, so why not do it right? There you go. That's it for underneath the car, so go ahead and reattach the middle belly pan. The last thing we want to do is prepare the new oil filter on the oil filter spindle housing. This one's just going to pop right off. Leave that there. Two O-rings, or three O-rings you take off. A big one at the top of the housing, and then there's two on the spindle. Your new filter, I have one here from Monfilter, um, which is the OE supplier to Mercedes, so it's going to be the same as an OEM filter filter itself. Comes with a little o-ring pack here with those three o-rings that you need. So I'll put those on. Then 
finally the middle one there. You wanna take some motor oil and just lubricate these up, that way they don't bind when you reattach it. So the oil filter. Pop that in place. It's ready to go in the car. Twenty-five newton meters is only about nineteen foot pounds, so it doesn't need to be very tight. Remember, the O-rings that are in here are doing the sealing, not the tightening of the cap. If your oil filter wrench gets stuck, just reverse your ratchet, and it'll pop back out of place and loose. Final step is to refill the oil. On this model, I recommend filling it with. Uh, six liters first, since it's not quite a seven liter fill. Put six liters in and then check your level. There is no transmission fluid dipstick on the Mercedes-Benz seven speed. So the only dipstick in the engine bay is the one for the engine oil. lower end of things, I'll add another half liter. And you always want to do your final oil level check after you start the car at once. That way oil gets pumped into the engine, especially into the oil filter which you just replaced. That's pretty good. Pretty smack dab in the middle. The last thing you'll need to do is reset the service indicator. Check out my reset service indicator video for that information. If you have any questions about this video, email me. You can email me at sales at idparts.com. You can leave me a message below and I'll get back to you. As always, subscribe to this channel. That way you get notified when we make new videos on all things diesel. Thanks for watching. Take care.